Let's take a look at um, making a normal probability plot in Excel. And uh, we're going to have our x values here, and we'll have our expected z scores. So I'll go ahead and create those two columns. Um, now I'm going to come over here, and um, we'll look at those steps here in a minute. But we're going to do it based upon these numbers. This is one I do in my normal class. So I got 30. 32.1, 35.7, 40, 43.2, and 44.5. So we want to see if these follow a normal distribution. <coughs> well, the same steps we do we use to do it by hand kind of is how we do it in Excel. Uh, it says range of data in ascending order. Now, if I got these right here, if I I click with my left mouse button, hold down my left mouse button, and drag and and uh, fill down. He says a sort and filter up here. You can sort smallest, largest, largest, smallest. Uh, it will not be sorted. Uh, continue with the current selection. Okay. See, like that. I just wanted to put them out of order first. Okay, so to put them from smallest to largest. He says sort smallest to largest. Uh, that's fine. It doesn't like the fact I don't have the X shows. So from smallest to largest. Now um, it says compute our F sub I, and that's equal to I minus 0 0.375 over N plus uh, 0 0.25, where I is position list. So we're going to create a column for I position list. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like that. Okay. Now in is going to be the number of observations. Well, we got six, so I'm going to hard code that in. And now we're ready to plug it into our formula. So F sub I, that's going to equal, and uh, you have to put parentheses around the top, parentheses around the bottom when you plug this in. So we do beginning parentheses. And you notice how it says I minus 0 0.375? Well, we're going to refer to C2, because that's where we put I at. Minus 0 0.375, closing parentheses, divided by, and put parentheses on the bottom. And I'll have 6 plus 0 0.25, and closing parentheses. So that's how we'll enter that in, and then press Enter. I'm going to fill that down. So I grabbed the, what I did is I put my mouse in the lower right hand corner so it became a plus. I clicked with my left mouse button and held down and dragged it down. So the, that's F sub I. Now um, it says find the z-score corresponding to uh, F sub I from the standard normal distribution table. Well, this is going to equal, so I'm coming over here to my expected z-score column, norm S I and B. And then we're going to refer to D2, the F sub I we just found, and close parentheses. And then enter. Now I'm going to come up to this cell, and I'll click on it, and I'll uh, put my mouse in the lower right hand corner to become the plus, and I'll click my left mouse button and hold down, and drag down, like that. Well, now that we have these, I can uh, click here and highlight those, and you come over to Insert, and you can do um, scatter with only markers. Probably be the best one if I had to guess. So I, again, I chose insert, choose scatter, and then scatter with only markers. <coughs> and that shows it. Um, data's kind of be a little bit better if it didn't start at zero. Um, but we could we could modify that if we wanted to. But anyway, that shows you your um, your normal probability plot. Not as uh, seamless as uh, I'd like it to be in Excel, um, but you can um, with just the basic Excel.